Hey guys, it's me Saran back with another video. This is going to be a video on false equivalences. Um, so this is a video that I've wanted to make for a really long time, like literally years. And I just kind of, hold on, let me type in. I want to get the definition for you guys so I can read it. Okay, so this is a video that I've wanted to make for a long time now, like years. Um, but I just like never got around to making it and it just like continues to remain relevant over and over and over. So let me read you guys the definition of, of false equivalences. False equivalence is a logical fallacy in which two opposing arguments appear to be logically equivalent when in fact they are not. I'm going to read that again. A false equivalence is a logical fallacy in which two opposing arguments appear to be logically equivalent when in fact they are not. Now the prime example of this that I always like to use is you have a family sitting down in a restaurant eating dinner. It's a mom, a dad, and two sons. The two sons are 10 years apart. So you have one son that's 16 and one son that's six, right? The 16 year olds, they have the same mom, they have the same dad, they're brothers. The 16 year old orders a steak. He says, I want a steak, I want it well done, I want it, you know, I want it tough. I want to really have to cut it up and stick my teeth into it. The six year old says, I want a steak. I want it well done, I want it tough. I want to be able to stick my teeth into it. The mom says, you can't have a steak. You have to order something else. He says, what do you mean I can't have a steak? She says, well, she says, what do you mean I can't have a steak? My brother's having a steak. Why can't I have a steak? You know, she says, well, your brother's 16. You know, he has his full grown up teeth in, you know, he has his 12 year old molars in, like he, you know, he, he can handle it. You're six, you still have your baby teeth. You know, you probably try to bite into the steak and all your teeth will just like come out and get stuck in the steak. You can't have it. He says, this is not fair. You are discriminating against me. You're not trying to let me have what my brother has. We're exactly the same. You're my mom. He, you know, you're my mom, just like you're his mom. You're my dad, just like he's, he's, you know, he's his dad. You know, we are exactly the same. We are brothers. It is not fair that you will let him get the steak and you won't let me get the steak. We are exactly the same. It's like, but you're not. He's 16. You're six. You have baby teeth. He has grown up teeth. He can handle the steak. His body, his teeth can handle the steak. You can't. It is a fallacy it is a logical fallacy to say that you are equivalent logically equivalent when in fact you are not yes your brothers yes you have the same mom and dad yes you're sitting at the same table but you are not the same that is a false equivalence and it is exactly the same to say that black people questioning you know the centering of white people at all times in our society at all places in our society to call that reverse racism is a false equivalence. It is, it is pretending that our questioning white supremacy is, is equivalent to the systemic disenfranchisement of black people for centuries. It's pretending, you're pretending. It's a false fucking equivalence. It is a logical fallacy. I saw somebody say on YouTube the other day like, oh, but like inequality only begets more inequality. So like, yes, white people have been, you know, unfairly allowed to have more things than everyone else. But don't you think that trying to correct it by giving black people more so that they can catch up is unfair and, and racist against white people? No, it's not. It's a correction. So how would you suggest we get ahead? If we don't even the scales, black people are going to remain at the bottom. Like that is the way that fucking scales work. What, what, what am I trying to think of? An abacus. Like, I'm like, what the fuck am I trying to think of? Y'all, have y'all never seen a fucking abacus? It's like a, it's like a counting tool. And I believe it's from fucking West Africa. It's like a counting tool with like the, the strings. It's like a wood frame and it has strings or wires and it has beads, right? And you move them back and forth until, you know, you count. So you say, okay, I have five on one side and I have five on the, it's like 10, 9, 8, 7, you know, whatever. So you can say, oh, I have five on one side, I have five on the other side. You move. You move the beads along until you have an equal amount on both sides. A fucking scale. When you go to the doctor and you have one of those special doctor doctor scales with the weight is on top and they move it, they move it around until they find out exactly how much you weigh until it's even, until it's not shifting on both sides, until it's even, okay? If we had a fucking abacus of the shit that fucking white people get that the rest of us don't get, it would be like 10 beads on one side 
and no beads on the other side. So taking beads away from them and putting them on the other side, five and five makes it evil, evil, makes it equal. But you would have people that say like, no, you're taken away from white people, so that's racist. That's reverse racism. That's not fair. No, that's a false equivalence. It is a fallacy. You are pretending that it is the logical equivalent when in fact it's not the logical equivalent. You, when you say, oh, it's reverse racist for white people, for black people, to question why my show has all white leads. No, black people are, are just, the, we wanna see ourselves represented on screen. And 90%, and, and again, this is why it's a false equivalence, right? We're talking about course correction to a problem, right? If 90% of the shit in general, the shit that comes on TV, the shit that you watch in the movies, the shit, the books that you fucking read, just like my video where I said I'm not, I'm not reading books by white authors anymore, like I'm not buying books by white authors anymore, featuring white protagonists anymore, like I'm just not doing it. Like if all, if 90% of the media that you consume, you know, centers white people, right? If, and even if, just like how we talk about cultural appropriation, even if that, you know, 10, 10 to 15 percent which is like mostly dominated right now in this moment by the music industry which you know the the a lot of the the mainstream music industry right now at this moment is really dominated by hip-hop and like trap trap music but even if that 10 to 15 percent of the media that you consume you know is is black black faces you know a, a handful of black movies a handful of black tv shows a handful of black books these you know these black artists but it's widely known that everything caters to white people we live in a white supremacist society everything caters to them already i'm not impressed i want to see more women of color i want to see more black women on screens like i want to see and that doesn't necessarily mean that i want it from mainstream white hollywood or that it needs to meet needs to win oscars or anything like that but you know like people are doing these things because they're taking shit into their own hands and because they don't see the representation that they want to see. Like, we watch, y'all don't want to watch white people? That's reverse racist. No, we watch white people all day, every day. We want to see something else. We want to course correct, right? We, we want we want to fucking push back against it. And, it. and it's a false equivalence. When you say, oh, historically, systemically, fucking black people have been disenfranchised Excuse me, guys. Historically, systemically, black people have been disenfranchised through through redlining, through fucking predatory lending. So now I'm just making this up as an example. So now we're going to fucking, you know, make make a make a government initiative to fucking give black people land and property, which is something that does actually need to happen. And then white people say, we don't get to get that. That's reverse racism against us. That is a false equivalence. That is a fallacy, a logical fallacy in which two opposing arguments appear to be logically equivalent when in fact they are not. Oh, Black Lives Matter is the motherfucking KKK. And I heard about that Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter kidnapping. I don't have nothing to say about it. I have a whole video on white male rage where I talk about all the fucking, you know, the crazy fucking fucked up shit that white people do. You have one instance of fucking black people kidnapping a white kid and fucking torturing him and live streaming it. White people make racists afraid again. Make white people afraid again. Like, that's all I have to say about that. Maybe if they fucking realize that niggas are sick of their shit, they'll stop with the motherfucking nonsense. That's all I have to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. And, and, and for Black Lives Matter to become equivalent to the KKK, Shit like the Black Lives Matter, which is which is what people like racist Cracker Barbie like to say, oh, Black Lives Matter is the motherfucking KKK. For Black Lives Matter to become the KKK, shit like the Black Lives Matter fucking kidnapping would have to happen large scale for about the next 50 to 100 years. So if niggas everywhere start kidnapping and torturing white people for and, hang, you know, killing them, murdering them, kidnapping them, you know, lynching them, live streaming it, burning their houses down, running them out of their neighborhoods, refusing to give them jobs, refusing to let them go to school, refusing to let them, you know, work where they want to work, refusing to let them vote, refusing to let them read and write for the next 50 to 100 years, right? Then Black Lives Matter would be the KKK. But until that day comes, it is a false equivalent. It is a logical fallacy in which two opposing arguments appear to be logically equivalent when in fact 
they are not. You have this one instance of a Black Lives Matter kidnapping on the scale with centuries of violent oppression. It is a false equivalence. You are pretending. You are pretending. And all these arguments that you hear all day, you calling me mayonnaise is exactly the same as nigger. No, nigger is a racial slur with centuries of violent history behind it. That is a false equivalence. It is not the motherfucking same. You are pretending. And it's just like, stop, stop. Black people do not have the power, the systemic power to do to white people what they do to us. Number one, stop saying that dumb shit too. Like I can never be doing the same thing to them as they did to us because I don't have that type of power. Again, to do the same thing to them, I'd have to build a time machine, go back in time, kill off a third of the European population, enslave the rest for 300 years, and then reluctantly free them, maintain a racist system of superiority against them for the next 150 years, then, even after I get rid of, you know, Jim Crow and segregation, still continue to, still continue to do de jure segregation instead of de facto segregation, then, I would have to enact state-sanctioned violence against them by locking them up in the prisons, waging a false war on drugs against them, enacting a school-to-prison pipeline. Then we'd be about even. We'd be about square, as Beatrix Kiddo says in Kill Bill. Then we'd be about even. Then we'd be about motherfucking square. But unfortunately, since I can't do that, and unfortunately since like I said, this Black Lives Matter kidnapping shit is one in a million. That's not going to happen. Stop trying to tell me that I'm doing the same thing when I say white people smell like wet dogs. White people smell like wet dogs, okay? That is not the same as systemic disenfranchisement. That is a logical fallacy. Someone calling you mayo is not the same as a white person being a victim of state-sanctioned violence enacted against them by the motherfucking state, okay? By, by the fucking police which started out as motherfucking slave catchers. It is not the same. And white people as a whole have the ability to affect my wealth, my health, my economics, my care, my education, my movement through the criminal justice system. You know, like, like Joy DeGry talks about white, white racism versus black racism, right? She says, I say, I don't like you. I say, I think you're racist. I hurt your feelings. What, but how does that affect your life? She says, you know, white racism resulted in the, lynch the lynchings of over 4,000 people during Reconstruction. White racism resulted in Jim Crow laws and sundown towns and segregation and, you know, you know, and all this shit. Like, white racism still reverberates, you know, in prison rates and education and employment and neighborhoods, you know. But black racism or reverse racism has literally zero effect on the lives of white people. Except what? It hurts your feelings? I'm a stranger on the internet. I called you racist and I just really made you mad. Like, ooh, boy, I made you mad, you know? A black person looks at you wrong, poor you. A black person says you smell like wet dog, poor you. Calls you mayonnaise, poor you. But it's not the same. Racism is about more than just I don't fucking like you. I don't fucking like you. And again, like I said, dictionary definitions within the next 10 years, I believe that the dictionary definition of racism is going to be, you know, about more than just like I said, I don't like you. It's going to be about the ability to impact the lives of an entire group based off of race. And it's going to, it's going to imply as the, the, the definition is going to change because it's already changing. You know, it's going to imply that there isn't only prejudice, but the power to act on that prejudice and to adversely impact a group. And that's a difference. And I guarantee you the dictionary definition is going to change. And I actually want to read you guys this this article, a little bit of this article that's about this specific thing. The concept that racism is power-based and flows from power to lack of power is hard to grasp for majority people defined in this country as white, male, heterosexual, heterosexual, Christian, and with no disabilities. I can understand the frustration. Racism is hard to grasp, but white privilege is almost impossible for a majority person to truly understand. The comment below is on a column I wrote years ago, and the comment says, 
by your definition, black people, for example, cannot be racist to a white person. Um, black people cannot subscribe to the belief that all members of each race possess characteristics or abilities specifically to that race, especially so as to distinguish it as inferior or superior to another race or races. Is that what you're saying? Or is the Oxford definition of racism too white for you? And the person put, actually it is. And if you look up who runs the Oxford University Press, which publishes the Oxford English Dictionary, you'll find that the staff fits the very definition of too white, as do the top editors of the Oxford English Dictionary. Therefore, the definition of racism found there lacks nuance and is incomplete. When you have all straight, white, Christian, you know, men, people that have always been in power, they're the ones that run the dictionaries. They can make the dictionary definitions whatever the fuck they want. They can make it, they can print next year in the Oxford Dictionary that racism is white people, is black people calling white people mayonnaise. They can print that if they want. And a lot of y'all will just be like, will show up in my comment sections like, see, the dictionary says racism is defined as black people calling white, calling white people mayonnaise. You're a racist. It's like, y'all are so dumb. You're so ignorant, really. And we're also really, really seeing them, you know, post Donald Trump because it's like, oh, well, isn't you, you know, I was reading some shit the other day where, um, with the Rockettes, right? So the Rockettes said that they don't want to perform at the inauguration, but they're the owner of the Rockettes. I'm so congested, guys, sorry. The owner of the Rockettes was like, well, I want you guys to perform, so you're going to fucking perform. I really don't give a fuck. And one of the girls went off the record I mean, and fucking snitched that they were being forced to perform. And one of the things that the owner said in response to the article that ran after she snitched was, I find it really ironic that, you know, people are saying that Donald Trump is so hateful and so racist and a fascist demagogue and a white supremacist. And then they turn around and they say such... That's so mean. Like, it's so mean to call people a racist. Aren't you being just as bad as him by calling him a racist? And I was like, white people are really going to ride out this, like, I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say to me bounces off of me and sticks to you. That is, that is like, the nature of a false equivalence. Like, isn't what you say to me, doesn't that make you the real racist and the real problem? It's like, no. Calling people out on their shit critique of systems, of people, of persons, of government, you know, especially corrupt people, persons, government, racist people, persons, government is a necessary part of enacting motherfucking change, you fucking stupid assholes. Like, that is not, like, and, people, and, I, and I've just been seeing this so much of like, oh, well, you saying you hate Donald Trump is just as bad as him saying he hates Mexicans. What is the logic? What is logic? It is a logical fallacy. It is a false equivalence. You're pretending. You are pretending that these things are equal when they are not equal. If, if somebody says something hurtful to me and I say, I don't like you because you said something hurtful to me, how are you going to get in your feelings because I said I don't like you? Oh, so you don't like me? So you're just as bad as me? No, you just told me to fucking eat shit and die. Like, so we're just going to jump over that? Like, again, people love to, like, jump over, jump over the cause and jump to the effect and say you're wrong for being affected. And it's a false equivalence and it's a microaggression. And it's people motherfucking fucking with you, right? They're fucking with you. Don't let these people fucking fuck with you, seriously. Do not let these people fucking fuck with you because they're really trying it. They're really trying it. And they're going to continue to try it over the next four years to make it seem like you're crazy, to like normalize all this shit. I'm sorry, not crazy. That's ableist. To make it seem like you're the one that's wrong, to fucking normalize all this shit, like, and you're not wrong. And we are not wrong. These are false equivalences. They are logical fallacies of people pretending that this shit is the same to fuck with you, right? History matters. Context matters. You know, are you six? Are you 16 trying to eat a steak, right? Systems operate in overarching absolutes. That's what makes them systems. That's what makes them systemic, right? There's nothing more infuriating than describing systems and having people say like, but not all, 
or, you know, well, aren't you being just as bad? No, nigga, you're missing the fucking point. The point is the system works a certain way to benefit all of a certain type of people. They don't have to individually do anything. The system works a certain way to benefit all white people. They don't have to do anything as individuals. And saying that isn't a generation, isn't a, isn't a fucking generalization or a stereotype or reverse racist. It is describing a fucking system. You can't opt out of that system. I don't care how much of a special snowflake individual you are. You can't opt out of the system. You're either unlearning white supremacy, white supremacist conditioning, or you're part of the problem. And white people also love to pretend that we are all starting from square one. Like, no, you have centuries head start on the rest of us and we're just trying to play catch up. You know, we're just trying to move the beads on the advocates. That is not reverse racism against you. That is a logical fallacy. It is a false equivalence. Catching up, us catching up is not oppressing you. Like that famous saying, when you're used to privilege, equality feels like oppression. Us catching up is not oppressing you. You can only pretend that it is with these false equivalences, right? People saying, hey, what Donald Trump just said was fucking racist and sexist is not hate, a hateful remark towards him, right? It is not, oh, well, Donald Trump hates all these people, so you hating him is just as bad. That is a false equivalence. You are creating a logical equivalence where there is none. There is none. It's not the same. It's not reverse racism. It's not fucking hypocritical. It's fucking context. It's situational. Like, and it's just like so annoying. It's just like so annoying to hear people say like, well, well, isn't it, isn't it the same? Isn't it this? Isn't it that? No, it's not. It's a false fucking equivalence. Let's go ahead and read the, 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 the fucking dictionary definitions, which I love that shit so much one more time. A logical fallacy in which two opposing arguments appear to be logically equivalent when in fact they are not. You're six. You can't eat the steak. You know? Fucking liberals. Liberals. Fucking Democrats. Oh, we need to reach out to racists because if we don't, we're just as bad as them. That is a false equivalence. That is not true. You know? Oh, when you say this mean thing to me, it's exactly the same as when I say mean as, as when I say something racist. When you say I smell like motherfucking wet dogs, it is exactly the same as when I call you a fucking nigger. That is a false fucking equivalence. You assholes. And it's just, it's just like, stop it. Stop it. And at the end of the day, it's like some things are real. Some things are real. Some things are fucking real. They're logical. They're true. And some things are not. And I, like I said, I just, I've wanted to make this video for a while. And especially now, post-Trump, I just see so much of, again, like, I'm rubber, you're glue. But I saw this really funny meme the other day that was like, you know, people have concerns about Donald Trump, you know, picking Hexus, the pollution monster from Fern Gully to head the EPA. But let's give him a chance because us not giving him a chance will be exactly the same as white supremacy. You know, like that is a false equivalence. That is a false equivalence. What are you saying? Like people are just like making all these connections and like really trying to like pretend that shit is exactly the same. Um, people are really trying to like distort words and like change what the fucking words mean. And I have a video on that too. I have the that's not racist rant from 2014. So probably almost three years ago. And I said then three years ago, watch out. Cause people are trying to change the meaning of words and change the context. And you know, they're really trying to make it so that pushback is seen as equally as bad. Calling shit out, calling out problems is seen as equally as bad as the problem itself. Like we should just all let everything just ride, just ride it out. False equivalencies, people are trying to fuck with you and it's only gonna get worse as the next four years goes on. So really be vigilant against that shit. So I'm actually kind of glad that I never made this video because I feel like now it's actually more pertinent than ever. Like there will be tons of links in the description box on false equivalences and examples of them that I really want you guys to read because it's fucking rampant. It's rampant. It's a problem, right? There's a lot of that going on. So just be real vigilant about that shit.
Um, food, <laughs> links in the description box. <laughs> food for thought as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this. It's a, I think it's a really, it's a really, it's, it's a really big deal. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.